we need to talk about whether or not you are giving two weeks notice to your employer. We need to discuss whether you, as a supervisor, should be expecting two weeks notice from your staff. Welcome to the channel, Leadership with Mike. On this channel, I help you become a more confident leader, and I do this with no nonsense sense, if that makes any sense. And speaking of confidence, if it's something you're looking to build, if it's something you're looking to develop, because as a leader, you need it, in the description below, I have a link for a free PDF guide to help you become more confident. Now, let's talk about this two weeks notice because on TikTok, and we all know that all of the actual real life facts can be found on TikTok, there is a movement where we are saying, we as the people are saying, screw the employer, you don't get your two weeks, I'm taking my things and I'm gone. I'm going to let you know today that I'm done. And I get it. I have actually given no notice, a no call when I quit a restaurant job, but this is what I want you to consider prior to doing something like this. I want you to think about now, because I'm a little bit old, but now social networks, they follow you, which means your network is something that you can constantly build. It's not like you just leave a job and you never talk to these people again. You may be friends on LinkedIn. You may be friends on TikTok, on Facebook, <laughs> on whatever. The people you've worked with can be a huge resource when you need a job again, when you're looking for an opportunity. What we also have to understand as employers, if you have treated your staff like garbage, if you do not think that your staff have other places to go, they don't have other options, you will not be getting two weeks notice by most people because they don't like you. They don't respect you. They don't trust you to put in a good word for them anyway. So they're gonna say, I'm out, you're screwed. As the person deciding whether you're giving two weeks or not, this is what I want you to consider. No, you get fired, you're probably got not getting noticed. Maybe you're getting severance. Maybe your contract says that you need to give four weeks notice to help onboard and train somebody new. But if you are a general worker, there is no rule, there is no law that you must give two weeks notice. The idea here is that you are allowing the company to have time to hire somebody new, to distribute the work, the projects you're working on, to allow you to finish up some projects. That doesn't matter to you. As an employee, I didn't care. What I cared about is my reputation. What I cared about was my network. So if I had colleagues who were my friends, I don't wanna just screw them over and dump my work on them. If I have a manager that actually treated me respectfully and considered my life, my feelings outside of work, then I would absolutely want to give two weeks notice. And if I needed a reference from any of these people for my next job or the job after my next job, I need to make sure I'm giving two weeks notice out of respect, out of the fact that I don't want to burn any bridges. If you're working for a company and you don't care about the bridge being burnt, by all means, grab the match, grab the gasoline and just blow that bridge up. But if you think you need to work with these people again, do you, if you think you need to reach them, again, do this in a selfish way manner. Do not let your pride and ego tell you to screw this guy, screw this company, I'm out. Use your brain. Think about it in terms of chess. Think about your next couple of moves. Are you going to need to go back there? Are you going to need anything from that company, from those colleagues? If you are, two weeks notice. If not, do what you gotta do. I'm not here to judge. That being said, I don't necessarily have a follow-up video for this type of content. So YouTube says, you need to watch this one and let's develop ourselves into leaders where people want to give us two weeks notice if they leave.